forces four back within one as Dos Santos in for the put in by Caboclo. Not quite a slam, but same result. Clef ice. Skip pass intercepted by Needham. Needham coast to coast, but finds his way in against Dos Santos and scores over the much smaller defender. Brandon Paul now. He'll shoot for three and hits. And I think the foul actually went the other way in that last possession. It's inside, that's an easy slam for Yichan Sebir. Excellent shooting, Derek Needham. And now a steal by August, and he will flush it home. Ulm looks to eat into that versus poor lead. Hall, he's fouled and gets the three-point heave to go. How about that start to the third quarter? Nice move to the hoop. Caboclo scores again, and this game is tied. Needham hits again from deep. As we approach the halfway mark of the third. All alone, Caboclo! Bang! Finds Yalo for three, no. Rebound Dudzinski, just. Need him. Oh, what a finger roll that is! Dos Santos. And got it off in time and into the basket! For Yalo to tie the game up. Active defense from Bit Team despite the four fouls, but Paul for three. He hits! Back to back threes at both ends of the court. A lot of trust being put in Juan Nunez by Anton Gavillet in this game. Paul, tough three, banks it home! Can they put versus sport, sport of the sword here as Dos Santos finds Caboclo for the easy finish? And that surely must be that. Dos Santos inside, left hander up, no rebound, taken by Bursa Sport and Clemens. Dudzinski for three, yes, it's a four point game. And that is that. The victory secured by Ratio Farm Ulm. 92 points to 86, and they will go into a second place tie in the Group A standings. Ulm, a huge step towards a home playoff game and a top four seeding in seven days Euro Cup Group A.